Hi, I'm Laura from RFDM Solutions. If you saw my first video on getting websites onto your site using Google Tag Manager, you may remember that I skipped over a little part at the beginning in websites. Well, today we're back to talk about how to map your fields from Zoom Info websites into custom dimensions in GA4. So we're gonna need two platforms. One of them is going to be Google Analytics 4, and one of them is going to be Zoom Info. We're gonna start off in websites in Zoom Info. So here we are, we set up your domain last time. Everything's looking great. I want you to click on that. This is what we did before, and we're going to skip past set page rank. Today, we're talking about Google Analytics and sending data from websites to Google Analytics. This is really interesting if you want to see who's coming to your site, but also what they're doing. So you're marrying the data between websites and GA4. You can do things like look at a business name or their location and see in GA4 how they came to your site. You maybe want to see the um, page that they landed on, the page that they exited, how much time they spent on the site. We love this as marketers. So you can see here, we've chosen Zoom Info fields. There's a whole drop list. You can choose any of these. These are the ones that we suggest mapping over. And then there's the Google Analytics field. So these are a number of dimensions. Start at the top and work your way down is what I say. We had something in one and two in our GA4 instance. So we start at number three. And then something important to note is you want to make sure the scope is event. So. Here we go. We're going to take all of this information, um, company name, company type, revenue, employee count, industries, city, state, country, zip code, or postal code, and then the primary industry listing in Zoom Info. We're going to map those over. So I'll be back with you in just a sec for GA4. Now that you're in GA4, I want you to go over to the admin section that is just down here, which is underneath, underneath my face, but uh, it's a little gear. So you'll see that there's the account and the property sections. Scroll yourself down to custom definitions. And in custom definitions, you see that you can create custom dimensions. So click that blue button that says create custom dimensions. I'm gonna start with the top of my list that I have over here. We also have a handy list on our site in an article that deals with this. So you can just copy and paste right out of that list because that's what I do. All right, so we've got Zoom Info company name and that's mapped to dimension three in ours. So remember scope is event. And for the description, I like to throw in Zoom Info company name and then the dimension that it's mapped to, just so you have that in the description. Now for the event parameter, that's your dimension. So it's going to be dimension three. You don't need a space there. And then hit save. So you've got that. There's the description. We'll create another one. Zoom info company type. It's event. You throw that in there. Map to dimension four. And this one you call dimension four and you spell it correctly or else it won't work. There you go, you hit save. Perfect. Um, you can go in and edit like so if you need to, and then you just go down your list. That's it, super easy, bite-sized pieces. Uh, come back for another video and I'll show you how to create that custom exploration in GA4 that'll give you the information that you're looking for on who's coming to your site and what they're doing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment.